Okay, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BPMX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks as they're called representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. This one's made a, a nice move the past couple of days. So let's get some levels of support and then we'll talk about some levels of resistance. So the first level of support right here at that point sits at 54 cents. This would be, you know, the ideal level meaning, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? If the price can stay up above 54 cents, that would make the chart look very, very powerful. Now, if the price does drop below it, I'm not saying everything's ruined or anything like that, but as far as, you know, a, a symbol of being, you know, the absolute strongest, Staying above 54 cents would accomplish that. Now taking a step back and looking at the big picture of things, that's where this purple line here comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average, keyword they're being moving. So as time goes by, this line is gonna draw itself to look something like this. And if you wanna picture that as a tread line, that's fine. And the reason this is kind of a very simplistic way to look at the chart is when you stop and think about it, well, what does the price have to do in order to stay above an increasing line? Well, the price itself has to continue to increase over time. And that by definition is what a bullish move is, right? So that's why I love charts. When you look at them certain ways, they essentially insult your intelligence. So again, very black and white way to look at this. As long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls are in full control. Now, what about levels of resistance? As it stands right now, I'm just gonna talk about one level of resistance and I'll explain that in a second, but that's gonna be up there at 60 cents. Yes, I realize the price technically got up above it a few times, but there are several other occasions where the price didn't quite get up that high. So I'm just trying to kind of split the difference and find a common ground there. And I'm just gonna talk about one level because in my opinion, uh, at least top priority right now is not breaking levels of resistance. Top priority is just continuing to do what it's been doing in terms of going through healthy consolidation and building higher lows. Because as long as the chart continues to build higher lows, like it's done the past couple of days, the long-term chart's gonna to continue to take care of itself. So we'll see what happens with it. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very strong and to the point, or is very uh, short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching, have a good one.